Hey everybody, I'm Keychain. In this video, I'm going to show you how to earn extra platinum for your main character, and we're going to use alt characters to do that. So stay tuned, and I'll show you all of the math and how we're going to funnel that extra platinum down to your main character. All right, let's get started. So the way that we're going to do this is using the market. Um, and essentially, what you're going to do is you can play, you know, up to four alts, but you play an alternative character, an alt character, and all you have to do is the daily for that character, and you're getting 300 platinum every single day. Well, if you do that all seven days of the week, that's 2100 platinum. And to funnel that onto your main account using the market, you're going to be taxed. So you are going to lose 15% of that, but that's still 1,785 platinum per character. If you do that for four alt characters, it's an extra 7,140 platinum per week at a minimum. And I say at a minimum because on this chart right here, we're gonna look at the chart real quick. Um, there are other ways to earn platinum for your alt characters besides just the dailies. Now the first way that you can earn extra platinum for your your alt characters is using the charm system. So to create one skill stone, you need 11 charms. Conveniently enough, that is the exact amount of charms that you get for one week of playing Diablo Immortal. Now, where do you get all those? You earn one per day for your daily, so that's seven dailies a week. You can buy three from the Hilts vendor for 100 apiece each week and then your daily sign-on will reward you one. So that's a perfect 11, allowing you to create one skill stone. Now looking at the values here, every server is gonna be different. So I put up some skill stone prices to show how much platinum you would earn if you're selling a skill stone for that amount. I didn't go all the way up to max because it's rare to get a stone that sells for max, at least on our server. Um, but looking at these values, if you sell a skill stone for 1200, your net platinum gain is 520. I say your net gain is because I've taxed what you sold your skill stone at. So 1200 minus the 15% is 1020 minus the 500 that you used to create the skill stone. So you'd earn 520 platinum. On the other end of that, if you sold a skill stone for 2000, you would earn 1200 platinum. Now those are additional values that then you can add that into your total. And if you do that for all four of your characters, that's, uh, you know, if you're lucky, I would, you know, average it out and say another thousand per character. So in a week that brings you up to 11,000 platinum roughly. Now there's another piece to this. With the new addition to having the FAW runes or the FA runes be able to, um, be traded in for an eternal legendary crest. Each alternative character, if you're if you're really going crazy and you're playing all four characters and you're getting all the runes you need and everything you need, you can get an, an additional legendary crest for your alt character that then you can turn into platinum using the market system and then transfer that platinum to your main account. Um, on my server, where I put these values in, a one-star gem sells for between 1,000 and 1,100. Um, a two-star gem sells between 3,800 and 4,000. And a you know five-star, a two out of five-star, sells for roughly 34,000. So we're set pretty close to that 1,000 gem power, uh, or 1,000 platinum per gem power is where my market lies. So if these prices are different than yours, you're going to have to do some math, but basically what you're going to do is you take whatever the value is of a one star, a two star, and then a two out of five star, and you put those values in, you times them by 0.85, or you know that's how you get off the 15% tax, and you get your platinum values. So there's a chance for luck here also. Uh, and as time goes on, if you're doing this, say, I mean, say you do this for a year, then you're getting towards the point where you're guaranteed a pity two out of five star gem. I'm sure there's some people watching who are like super smart and have all of the math done already for what the averages would be and what your, your weekly platinum would be if you even it out over time, 
if you if you have those numbers put them in the chat I'd be happy to see them um, but I'm not gonna go that far into it um, but there's there's the numbers okay so now we're gonna go back into the game so going back into the game how do you transfer the platinum from one character to another well you have to sell things with your main character to do that but the way the market works you can price target or overprice things to then buy them with your own characters. So going into my market, and I'll show you some examples here. Um, I don't have any characters right now that can afford this, but here's an example. The power and command, um, which is a two-star gem, I can sell this for a maximum of 8,276. And nobody's going to buy it for that because our average, I'll show you our average price in here, our average price for this gem is somewhere, well, there's one in here for 4,000, but 56, 65, like I think that they've been selling around this 4,000 to all the way up to like 4,400 mark. Um, but mine's way up here at the top. And then some other things that I look for is a chained death. Um, I listed this chain death yesterday so that I can actually show you live how to purchase this. But chain death does not sell for that much on our server. Um, let's go find a chain death. And chain deaths are 955, 988, somewhere in that range. Here's mine at 1516. So I have to keep this number in mind and you have to pick a unique number because if I listed this gem at say 1100 or 1038 or 1008, I can't tell which one's mine. So you have to pick a unique number so that you know that you're buying your own gem and then you're going to switch characters uh, and I'm going to do that live. So we're going to switch characters and I'm going to go on to uh, my alt and I'm going to go to the market house and buy that gem. And then you'll see how to, to transfer the platinum over. So I think my necromancer has the most um, platinum right now. And I didn't plan this out perfectly because I didn't leave this character sitting next to the market. Um, but we're going to go run down there and I'll show you exactly how I've been transferring the platinum. Um, now, the other benefit to this and the thing that I didn't factor into the math um, is after you've purchased the gem or the item with your alt character, there is a seven day hold on that item before you're allowed to resell it, but you can resell it. So that's something else to keep in mind is like you, you can then continue to cycle it. The more you cycle items, the more you burn through items, you're going to be paying more taxes, but at least you're getting the platinum from alt characters that you probably wouldn't use it on onto your main account. And it all does make a difference. And over the course of a couple of weeks, you know, getting an extra 11, 12,000 platinum a week is going to make a huge difference in the amount of gem power you can buy um, and the amount of resonance that you can get in a month. Because um, even at even at these minimal numbers, you're looking at, you know, 10,000 a week for four characters if you're really going hardcore, uh, which is 40,000 a month, which on my server, that's, you know, 40,000 gem power, or not 40,000. <laughs> That's uh, 40 gem power, which it, it makes a difference. That's, you know, an upgrade uh, depending on which gems you're trying to upgrade. Like it, it does make a difference. So um, let's find that chain death. And the chain death that I was looking for is 1516. And I'm going to purchase that. Platinum's gone. Purchase has been made. And now when I sign back over to my other account or to my other character, I'll see that the platinum has been transferred across. Now, I'm doing this with my own alts. And from what I've read in the terms of service, there's nothing against this. However, if you're intentionally using a separate account or a secondary account that does go against the terms of service, so my disclaimer there is do not do this with multiple accounts. Use your own account only because realistically, what should have happened is platinum should have been shared across all characters the same way eternal orbs is because it's a paid currency. I can buy platinum. 
So I should be able to access that platinum from any of my characters, uh, same way I can with Eternal Orbs. So Blizzard really should fix this so that we don't have to do stuff like this to earn extra platinum. I should be able to play my alts, earn platinum on all five of them, and have it all go to the same pool without having to transfer it. But if I come back in here to my you know, sold items, the Chain Death has sold, I get that platinum. Um, the fee is gone from what I earned for selling it, which is that 15% tax, which is way higher than it should be also. But I guess they're trying to discourage people um, getting ahead by using the market house um, and trying to, you know, earn platinum, you know, <laughs> it's, it is what it is, but 15% is very high. Um, so this, this one I'm not going to be able to buy right now, but this is an example to show that you can go higher if you want to do this less often, or you want to do a whole bunch of platinum at once. Like say on your alt character, you got a, a three star gem, a three out of five star gem, and you sold it for 40,000. Well, that's going to take a long time to transfer if you're only doing rank one gems. But if you are going to, you could do rank two gems. Um, you can use items like the topaz. So you see on my server, topazes are in the 800 range. Well, I could list two topazes and I could max them out at 1200. Uh, and then I could sell those over to my alt character, and that's 2400 right there. Um, you can sell these smaller rank one gems for 400 as the max price. Uh, these are pretty easy to get. There's lots of ways that you can transfer uh, transfer the platinum cross, and you just have to be creative, use unique values, uh, and that's really how I've been doing it, and it makes a big difference. It allows me to um, not have to spend a huge amount of money to try and stay competitive. Now, that being said, I don't have a huge amount of resonance. I'm at 865. Um, but if you look at what I've spent to get that 865, it's much less than a lot of other players. So uh, I think that's it for this video. Um, leave me comments, questions. Um, I'm happy to help with ideas. If your values for your markets are completely different and, and you don't like math or you don't want to do the math, put it in, put it in the comments. Um, I'll help. Like, tell me what a rank, you know, a, a rank one gem sellers for, or um, a one star gem, a two star gem. Tell me what your average skill stone, you know, sells for those type things. And I can help with some ideas or um, try and help you figure out a way to get that platinum across from your alts to your main. But all right, that's it for me. Um, remember to hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.